Hi, I'm Sumit Kulal and today I'm going to present our work on motion programs. Current works in video and human motion analysis either work on the pixel level or the key point level. However, there are higher level primitives of motions to these actions. For example, this video of jumping jacks consists of a repeating pattern of two primitive actions, moving hands up and bringing them down. Similarly for squats, it consists of a repetitive pattern of squatting down, standing up and a brief resting phase while standing. Such primitive level understanding is currently inaccessible to video analysis systems. To that end, we propose a hierarchical motion understanding framework that can capture such primitive and higher level relationships. Our framework consists of three levels and we represent information in the higher levels of the framework with two simple program like DSLs. We also describe how to automatically synthesize these programs using any input video. Our first level consists of key points. At this level, we represent the post level information that most, most current systems do. Our second level consists of what we define as concrete motion programs. This level represents primitive level information by grouping together a sequence of frames and poses such as moving hands up for the jumping jacks video. Concrete motion programs are sequences of primitives where each primitive could either be a circular, linear or stationary motion. Every body key point has one such concrete program that describes its motion. Consider the right wrist key point in the jumping jacks motion. We can induce a best fit circle that approximates the input trajectory along with appropriate motion parameters such as angular velocity. Similarly, we can fit a linear primitive to the neck key point during a squat as shown on the right. However, for longer videos, we need to segment them and synthesize a sequence of such primitives. For longer videos, we divide the key point sequence into smaller segments and fit a motion primitive on each segment. Our goal is to jointly do the segmentation and the primitive fitting to minimize the overall key point error between the detected poses and the program reconstructed poses. We define the following recurrence relation. The best fit of n frames is the best fit for the first k frames plus the best fit single primitive from k to n minimized over all possible values of k. We solve this using a dynamic programming algorithm described in detail in the paper. This results in a sequence of primitives. Once we have a concrete motion program, we are now interested in capturing higher level relationships such as repetitions. We do this using abstract motion programs. In our example, this level would be able to capture the repetitive pattern of the two up and down primitives using a for loop structure as shown on the right. An abstract motion program is synthesized by searching for windows of repetitive concrete primitives that could be rolled into a for loop. Since repetitive, repetitive primitives could have similar but not exactly the same motion, we roll out these primitives into a probabilistic primitive that captures the distribution of motion. At execution time, a concrete primitive is sampled from the probabilistic primitives. Together, these three levels of abstraction present a new way of representing human motion, giving access to higher level structures that were previously not accessible. We now evaluate the motion programs generated. We conduct exhaustive experiments to evaluate the representative power and the downstream task performance. First, we synthesize concrete motion programs on a large data set of golf swing videos and evaluate the representative power. Here's an example. On the left, we have the input video and the detected poses. On the right, you can see the program synthesized for the left wrist key point. On the far right, we have the program traced pose. There's only a minor difference between the detected poses and the program synthesized poses. On the full data set, we observe that motion programs have a few favorable properties. They are efficient, needing only 15.5% of the parameters for representing pose sequences while also being accurate with only 2.4% drop in accuracy. Motion programs also smooth out the noise in, in the poses leading to more temporarily consistent poses. We also incorporate motion programs to video interpolation pipelines. Sepcon is a standard video interpolation model which uses the left and right frame to predict the middle frame. We train a variant of Sepcon where along with the input images, we pass in the input skeleton heat map as well as target skeleton heat map. At test time, we supply the target heat map information via motion programs. We observe significant improvements in ATEX interpolation results. You can spot that our video on the right retains more higher level structure and motion of the hands. This is also highlighted by the difference in quality of predictions around the arm region as shown by these error heat maps. The quantitative results also underscore this point. 
The key point difference shows that the arms and the body structure is well retained in our model. We also leverage motion programs to perform video prediction. We compare it to two standard baselines which uses LSTM and attention respectively. Here are the prediction results for a simple jogging motion for the first 300 frames. We observe that all three models do well, with the baselines even doing slightly better at times by predicting smooth future pose transitions. Here are the prediction results for 600 frame and onwards. We observe that both the baselines have diverged and do not predict decent pose sequences, while our pose sequence still looks very similar to the ground truth future frames. Here are some quantitative results. It can be seen that after the first few frames, our model in green consistently gives lesser key point difference with the ground truth compared to the two baselines. Another application enabled by motion programs is the extraction of repetitive action segments. We evaluate this on three long exercise videos. We were successfully able to detect and extract a diverse set of repetitions with high precision and recall. Here are a few samples of the detected repetitive segments. Thank you for your attention. Do check out our webpage for the paper and the code.